love my sexy witches. <clears throat> Excuse me. My allergies are really acting up, so please forgive me if I sneeze, cough, sniffle. Um, today we are looking at the High Priestess card, uh, number two in the uh, hierarchy, I guess you could say, <laughs> of the cards. Um, now, for her, her zodiac affinity is the moon, which we could kind of see that you probably can't see from the camera view, but there are... Um, let's see if I can show you. There are stars there in her, in the card. There are stars up here. And the floating of her crown in the Len... Len oh, good lord. The Nicoletti Ciccoli deck. <laughs> and then this is the Tarot of the Northern Shadows deck. Um, like I said, I cannot wait to get more decks. Anyway, welcome to Tarot Tuesday before I forget to say that. But these um, these are the high priestess that I have right now. And um, I wrote down what I wanted to say because there's quite a bit and I need to do it quickly or I'll run out of time. But um, she deals with your hidden feelings, your strength, ugh, strengths, um, strengthens your intuition. So, it's a healthy healing card also, which can be you healing others or healing yourself or help within the way of healing um, will come to you. I hope you can see the card, the cards well. Um, it sucks I don't have what I, I need for this but anyway <clears throat> in the in the way of healing this is a good card to have um because it speaks that the the cosmic energies will help heal a lot of different things physically emotionally um <clears throat> it calls upon the use or knowledge of the feminine powers um that there is potential to something but is silent or in the background so there's potential happening there that has not yet revealed itself to you um it is your unconscious coming forward or becoming more aware of your unconscious thoughts possible hidden motivation also is becoming more aware to you there are mysterious influences surrounding you at this time when this card is drawn. Maybe something in the background that you're not seeing, this will tell you that it will be coming about uh, or what to use to bring about what is not being shown. Um, there are mysterious influences, like I said, surrounding you, and this card speaks to be aware of your developing talents and to pursue them. There may be a secret that um, needs to be revealed to you or one that has been bothering you because you have not revealed it to someone. And maybe you feel you should have but haven't. So be aware of secrets, your own, others, just kind of... Be more aware that something is out there telling you to be aware of things. Uh, when you draw this card, it is saying to trust your intuition. You need to look beyond what is right in front of you to see other ways of doing something or another way of thinking. This card may also trigger remembering something of significance that maybe in your subconscious mind something had happened or was said. Um, that might be useful to what's going on in your situation right now. So to kind of be aware of certain things in the past that might be helpful to you in the present. Um, <clears throat> the High Priestess is all-knowing. All um, she knows the unknown. She knows what we do not know. Um, she's all seeing, she sees everything. She guards the secrets of the unconscious. She is the one to seek for knowledge. 
uh, of the space between the, this realm and the next to look beyond life's illusions, to look beyond the obvious and accept that there are mysteries everywhere. In a you now drawing, you need to find your hidden potential and develop on it. Uh, look to your intuition, intuition for guidance. Look closer at your feminine powers. This can be romance, fertility, sex magic, or whatever. There's something with the feminine powers that you need to be working on. Maybe it's also your own shyness. Uh, if this card is drawn as a blockage card, you seem to fear finding out your true feelings, maybe on yourself or on someone else. Uh, it's a time to develop your awareness using your intuition about what you really want and where you are going. This could mean walking away from a relationship that no longer serves you, or it could mean developing stronger bonds. You could also, uh, it could also mean uh, loving yourself more. Only you hold your own truths. This may be a time to work on your communication skills. Um, if drawn as an outcome card, uh, it means that problems or a secret will be revealed. Uh, as a past card, if it's drawn, uh, may have you looking back to what someone said to you. It will lead you to an answer you have been seeking. This card also states that conversation will bring you success. So it has a lot to do with people and working on yourself and finding out either something that you are denying about maybe and using communication to find the, the source of that. Um, she's a wise woman or someone you consider a teacher if it is in a person form um, who is prophetic, uh, knows um, about the secrets somewhat. You know, nobody can know it all, so I can't say that, that she knows that. But she's a, she's prophetic in what she does. Um, if it's a person that you meet, um, here you will have to use your wisdom and perception. There are many positive and guiding forces within you and around you. Uh, it's a time of serenity, uh, learning more about the mysteries. Uh, things will be illuminated. You will have to use your foresight, strengthen your own unique psychic abilities. Use the forces of nature in your, your practices. You know, um, this all has to do with nature. And um, we'll get to the rest of that there too. A time to work on your artistic and creative abilities. Maybe go back to school and work on intellectual studies. Uh, you know, bring up your intuition or your intellect. Um, gain more knowledge. Um, uh, you could avoid, or you should avoid, emotional ties at this time, maybe. Uh, don't become a tie tied emotionally to, to anything at this time when this card is drawn. Um, let's see. Uh, la -la 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 -la. Or you can look closer at your emotional ties. You will feel or become more emotionally in control and stable when you do that. But also at times you can show cruelty and vindictiveness and probably not meaning to do so. Um, maybe something is stressing you and you become hateful or cruel um, to others because of that situation. And I have been there, believe me. <laughs> Um, you gain wisdom and recharge when in nature and working in tune with nature. Uh, you might want to pay closer attention to the stars and the celestial planets, which is what that one reminds me of. Um, you might want to also pay closer attention to your astrology uh, sign and what it says to you. Trust what you know is true to you. Um, open your mind to the ancient mysteries. If you draw the high priestess in the reverse, the upside down, it could mean you are disregarding your intuition and have a lack of foresight. You may use faulty judgment at this time. Um, 
you're not paying attention to what your intuition is telling you, you will be showing ignorance and be shallow in your thoughts and actions. Some people will think you are being quite mean at this time. Uh, maybe you do become mean at this time. Uh, you become more egotistical in your mannerisms and not use deep thoughts or knowledge. You're just like, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to, whatever. Um, maybe you seem aloof to people. Uh, you may feel nothing can touch you at this time, like you're an immortal. Um, and that's basically what I have learned about this card. Using my intuition. And I hope that this camera isn't moving much. The intuition I have with um, this card, being as it's the high priestess, obviously looking toward your goddess, uh, would be if you work with a goddess um, or with a feminine energy, that would be to me what this is. Um, it shows to me that she was she's a warrior protecting. Uh, a shapeshifter changing your beliefs and and maybe uh, becoming more heightened, uh, flying free in your belief system or your practice. Um, the obvious protection there and the use of obviously another familiar, uh, your your animal guide your spirit guide, uh, relying on something else. It shows to me that it's a darker scene in the background. So there is like, um, like was described before, there is a little bit of emotional, uh, upsetness back here in the background, but that's not the true self. You know, you're lying also naked to people. Um, so protecting, you know, yourself from even your own self. Uh, could be helpful at this time when you get this card drawn. There's birds in the background of this one, which I'm not sure if anybody could see. And to me, that represents flying, like this this depression will go away. Um, or this, this hatefulness, this feeling will go away. There's a little bit of light in there, which means that there's light in the background of that. Also, there are uh, the blue, which means serenity to me, um, tranquil relax, calm, um, happiness even with her hair, it's bright and sunny. So this would be protecting the naked self with the help of your, uh, your familiars or spirit animals or whatever energy that you can rely on and gaining the knowledge of the moon, which is on her necklace. You know, it's the shape of the moon to me. Um, and that this feeling will pass and to just be aware of things working on on yourself again with the help of your um goddess now this one here reminds me of a tower it's strong strong built uh out in nature it's also a darker light card but it also goes from dark to light which means to me that there are dark times, the, the good goes to the bad and then back, you know, it's like sun, day, night, and over again, repeat. To me, her crown is standing up off of her um, head, which is floating in the sky, meaning celestial. She's got stars around her, meaning pay attention to your astrology. Um, at the time you get this card, you should be paying attention also to what your astro astrological sign says. Um, she is strong. She's covering her heart. So she is saying that, you know, um, your God, goddess, whatever you are working with is loving you. And, um, that all of this is basically, um, you know, leading up to her heart is this, uh, this path. So everything leads to the heart, love, kindness. So even though you have this mixed feeling um, or upsetness to be aware that it will pass and to open your heart to more. 
and become creative in ways of doing all of this, everything here. And that was my intuitive reading on these cards, the High Priestess card. And um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment. Uh, please do like, subscribe, and comment. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye!